they're awful, aren't they? Putting the gem paths that you couldn't possibly do and the very first levels. <sighs> okay. Thank you. I'm just amazed at um, the Road to Nowhere levels because I remember them. In fact, when I um, when I played them, when I did the video series years ago, I had so much trouble with them and I, in fact, distinctly remember doing like a death montage on the high road, I think it was. Might have been Road to Nowhere, I can't remember. And just like losing so many lives. Just dying and dying and dying. It was quite a good uh, montage, if I remember, but um, I'll have to watch it back again and try and get some get some tips from my past self. Oh, what? Oh, thank you. Oh, Aku Aku, Mask Spirit. I probably needed you for later, but eh, it's done now. Right, so there's a bit here. Crap. <laughs> and I've just realised, they give you a checkpoint, like, two minutes before the... Like, a literal stone's throw before the end of the level. Which is a bit strange, isn't it? I know that there's this whole bit up here, but quite frankly, you're no, I'm going to have no use for a checkpoint once you get to this area, because when you come here, you're going for the gem, aren't you? Right, here we go. Let's do this properly this time. Get the life. Uh, hello? Hello? Okay, I swear I was playing this last night and I and I ran all this distance, but I literally can't get past now. Okay, well I'll just have to take it then I guess. How strange, because you can run past this whole bit. It's a bit like um, the the trials in in Abe's Odyssey. Oh, is it this bit that you can run? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh. <laughs> How strange, there's two. I'm just checking for crates. There's one. And I'm fairly certain that's the only one. Just uh, check, just to be sure. But yeah, you can, it teases you because you can run past this whole bit. Uh, but you just can't, um, and you could get over there and uh, just not have to do any of that, because it's tricky. Right, let's wait for this. I've got a red Aku Aku. It's, uh, it's a good sp 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 It's a good place to be in. Right. I want to do that um, impressively. I want to get I want to bounce off that crate, up to that, and then we. Oh, well, I didn't do that impressively at all. I missed all the fruit. Right, and let's hope I've got all the crates. Please, lordy, give me the crates. Hey! I really need a fan in here because it's sweaty in here. It's muggy. Let's get a hog wild out of the way because this one, this one's just a memory test. I'm not altogether fond of, I mean, the level. Level's great. I'm not altogether fond of getting the gem on it, though. It's just a bit... Ugh! The hog is not terribly responsive. The polar bear is a lot more fun. The tiger is also a lot more fun. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry if I uh, dip into concentration silence in this level, but it's going to be a, a necessary evil. Right, I did that. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Right, one up. Loads of crates then. Nicely done. You're going to be on the left. Yeah, very good. You're going to be low. You're going to be high. You're going to be low. You're going to be on the right. Yeah. You see what I mean? Please tell me I've done it. Yes. Ugh. I'm going to run through it once. I don't mind if I die. Because I need to learn where everything is. I've also got to learn little stupid tricks like that. Did I just miss a crate? Oh, I'm going to just kill myself. How did I miss that crate? I went right through it. Right, you're going to be on that side, yep. Yeah. Oh, that was that was tricky. Ooh. Right. Yeah, why, why are the checkpoints on this level? They should have just not put them in because, again, it's a... 
It's a level that only people going for the gems will bother playing. That was tricky, man. Right. Ah! Oh! Yeah. It was this crate that I missed. Balls. I pressed X as well. Right, that's good. You're going to be on the left, yep. And there we go. Oh, so there's not actually too much trouble in the latter bit. I think if I can do the rest of it, then I can probably pull that one off. And the hog does get his own back later on. In fact, hogs are just bad news in this game, aren't they? Maybe that's why they're roasting them, because they know that they're just a menace. Yep. Oh! Balls that one up, didn't I? They should really build these controllers with the, like, anti-sweat pads. Like, absorbent pads. Yeah, not anti-sweat pads. They don't exist. Really now? Maybe, maybe there are certain controllers that are absorbent, like the Xbox. Maybe that's what the Xbox Elite controller does. It's absorbent for all your Crash Bandicoot play sessions. The other thing is, he seems to move at an inconsistent speed. What the hell? That was clearly going to be low. Why didn't I jump it? Wouldn't it be great if there was just a restart button in the menu? They didn't add that for insane. Not that they need to. So. Yeah, because in that you can die <laughs> and still get the gem. That's the uh, cheater's way of doing it. <clears throat> Why do I keep missing that? So it was, yeah, left. Okay, good. Right, jump on that. Okay, right, yep. Jump over him. Uh, 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 uh. Under the hog. Way right. Right, yep, good. Oh, ah, oh, oh, and there we go. Thank goodness for that. I'm glad that's out of the way now, actually. I've been putting that off, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's finally done. Da -da -da -da. Gonna have to do Lost City. I need the green gem. I need to get all the colours and then I can do all the other levels. These lizards. They just, they just think they're everybody, these damn lizards. They just don't... You see, he even took damage off me when I landed on top of him. That's just, That's just exactly what one of these green beggars would do. Not easy being green, yeah. Tell that to these guys. These guys have just got the run of the place. And I dislike them. Burnt myself. I cannot believe I never do that and I've just done it. On the old save file that I loaded up um, on my PS1 copy, the, the save file that I had when I first played the game and uh, got about... I don't know. Not very far. I got up to Sunset Vista basically and that's where I got stuck. But I had the gem on uh, Lost City and I don't know how I managed it when I was so wee and couldn't do Sunset Vista. Because of that stupid um, stone wall trap that I died at last time and I'm going to probably die at this time. This, this is actually harder I think than Sunset Vista. Where is it? There it is. It's, not, it's in a normal crate as well. It's strange isn't it? Strange. Okay, let's do this. This is easy. Right. Right, move, 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 move! Spoing. Right. Huh! It's just occurred to me Dragon Mines is based off this, isn't it? Must be. Hello there! Thanks for the lives, you jerk. Thanks for the sour persimmons. Best Daffy Duck impression ever. Uh, available for all galas and fates. Actually, if somebody wanted to hire me to do stupid voices for a, a, a one of these stupid country shows that we have around here, then yeah, sure, I'd, I'd, I'd do that. People seem to like it when I do voices, but I can't do them very well, so I don't really get why. It's when they all go in, that's when you got to go, in it. When they all go in together. Now! Yeah! That's how you do it. And then this one here is really easy. Don't know why they'd mess you around with that thing and then just give you a really easy one. I don't quite understand the thinking behind that, but here we go. Another lizard who, uh, yeah, well, the less said about him, the better, basically. Oh! Don't screw it up now. Nearly there. Oh, this guy. This guy could cause me some problems. 
let's just do it sensibly. There we are. Right. Once again, sensibly. There. Crates that break instantly. I still don't understand that. Oh, could you imagine if I died there? Oh, that would have just been rotten. Please say that I've not missed some measly little crate. Yes! Green gem. That's what I like. I can't recall if you need a gem for that. Let's just try it out. Well, I'm going to have to work it out at some point. Oh, and actually, yeah, I recall that this, this one is harder in, in NTSC. God, we really got the watered down. Not watered down, but the easy easy crash, didn't we, in PAL regions? Yeah, I know, I know what the uh, the deal is with Upstream. I just can't remember if you need any gems as well as the deal. And the deal, of course, is uh, that mysterious switch crate that doesn't seem to do anything unless you know where, where it switches. Which, incidentally, is coming up in a second. Oh, oh, oh. A little, little there. Right. Oh! <laughs> The problem is I panic and I try and uh, reverse what I've just done, even though I don't need to. Right, here we go. Right, don't hit the TNT yet. In fact, yeah, I need to be going going at it at this angle. Uh, crap. Oh well. Yeah, that, that little leafy bit isn't there on pal. It's just the two crates, the TNT and the bouncy. So I don't really, I don't really follow. I do. Come on. Do me a favour. Oh, right, good. Yeah. Take that plant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed one. But, what can I find out? Oh, no, I did it. Oh, nice. So that's just a big phony then, isn't it, down there? That's jungle rollers. Right, go. Oh. I must forget that it drops a mask in this. And the mask can be uh, spun away as well, like the lives can. But in the in the later games, you just I think in two it drops lives, but the mask is just given to you when breaking the crate. Um, and I think in Crash Three, it gives you the life as soon as you break the crate. What have we got? Early installment weirdness in this one, but it's fun weirdness. There we go, look, green gem pomois. I could really do with uh, crashing through this now, actually. Yeah, there we go. Because I don't really need the, uh, the mask for this bit. Satisfying as it was. Oh, you can land there! Okay. Right, and there we go. That was nice, wasn't it? How many are we on? 84? Blooming neck. Flaming Nora, how have we got so many? There's another one, look. They just they just hand them out, don't they? Have I, have I? Yay! Oh, I've got the red gem as well, I didn't even realise. Oh, sweet, I can do uh, Native Fortress and then that's... Insanity Island cleared, I think. What's the, uh, what's the other island called? So, Encyclopedia. And we've got one per island. What? <laughs> okay. It's just called Middle Island, apparently. Yeah, apparently it's just called Middle Island and then Cortex Island, which is pretty silly, but whatever. It's bold as I've done. Rolling Stones, let's try it. Can't remember what colour gem you need for this. I remember being super excited seeing somebody else's head in this game. Like, I'd had all these Tarna heads and then suddenly there was an embryo head and it was kind of exotic. Hey! That was good, wasn't it? Ah, look at this. This is perfect. What do you mean? Oop. Oh, 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 oi. Lovely. I'm fairly sure. Oh, it's blue. Okay. Right, it's the blue gem. Don't got that one. I'm fairly sure it's from Cortex Power. I can't remember if you get the blue gem from Cortex Power or if you need the blue gem for Cortex Power. But I remember the... Um, the secret in this being super cool. Native Forge, I can do that. Well, technically. Up way, yay, yay, yay. Now then, square hitbox. Ah, uh, yes, I'll go on then. Why have I not? Let's just cheese the whole level. Right. So here's the thing. Lives are the um, 
basically then how many goes you get, aren't they? But we always used to refer to like health or energy as life. So how, how much life have I got left? I still do on occasion. I just find that interesting because that seems that seems to be uh, localized to the UK. But I know that I know that some people, particularly those who played games in the 80s on uh, British home computers, but also well, just anybody who played games in the 80s, they refer to it as energy. Well, might as well get that. Oh, come on! Make me get that and then waste it. I can't, I couldn't move then. It just made me fall straight down. Yep. It lasted long enough for me to get that thing. Oh yeah, I need to go over here as well. Don't I? Oh, hang on. That wasn't a crate, was it? Oh, crap. Ah, yeah. Oh no, never mind. Hello. Yes, good. Crates. Crates. Yeah, look, you can just go straight over here and skip! Never mind. When I said technically, I wasn't kidding. I think probably my favourite water death, and I know that's a... Uh, a strange phrase to be saying. My favourite water death in a video game is probably the one in Metal Slug. I mean, there's a there's a couple of good ones in Metal Slug. There's the one in the first one where you fall in the water and you get eaten by a uh, by a big fish, and you sort of do that cartoon. Well, whoever you're playing as, do that cartoon sort of hold his mouth open, and then you just get dragged in the water. That's funny. I like that one. There's a good one in Metal Slug Three where um, you fall in the water and then. Well, whoever you're playing as, they come up and do a thumbs up, and they're like, yeah, I'm alright. But then a lot of piranhas come and eat them. And then they come up again and do a thumbs up, but as a skeleton. It's brilliant. I wonder how gross became a term for... for oh, goodness. What, yeah, I wonder how gross came to mean what it means now, because gross means uh, sort of the total of something. So gross weight is the is the weight of something as it is. Sort of. So the gross weight of food is the food without the packaging. It's just the food on its own. So I wonder how that turned into grotty, basically, or dirty, or filthy, or nasty. By the way, this is one of the weirdest bonuses I've ever seen. It looks like it should be in Rayman or something. Oh come on! Oh oh oh! Honestly, can you actually die from that? I would have thought you'd just fall down to the level. That's poor. But there's a way you can do it where you you bounce off the bouncy thing and then you land on top of all the uh, of all the stripy crates. And so you can just uh, put the controller down, have a bit of a chill. Right, let's see if I can... Yeah! Maybe. Right, good. <sighs> Give my back a stretch. Let's walk across the wonderful little cloudy bridge thing. What? Who thought this was a good idea? Because whoever it was, was brilliant. Well, there it is, folks. 99 lives. Where's my achievement? <laughs> Still 99 lives. <sighs> Could you imagine if I missed one? That is That is one of the worst things. To do all that, and then it say, great, but you missed one box. But I'll do Toxic Waste since I've got access, potentially, to two masks. I don't quite get why the gangsters are working here. Why are they sort of in charge of the hazardous materials? And why is there so much of it? I know that, I know that Aku Aku's whole deal is that well, according to the Crash Bandicoot files, which is basically the Crash Bandicoot Bible, um, it says something like Aku Aku is helping Crash because he doesn't want Cortex polluting the islands or something like that. So it would make sense why there's a lot of toxic waste here, but it still doesn't make sense why the tribals aren't helping him as well. Why they're, in fact, actively against him. There's something else that's strange as well. In Crash Team Racing, I know this is non-canon, let's face it. Papu Papu gets protected by Uka Uka. And you'd think it'd be Aku Aku. Wouldn't you? Because Papu Papu's not really a bad guy. He's just trying to protect his, uh, 
protect his land. He's not doing out wrong, really. Ooh, oh, bye, oh, bye. Right, I've used one mask. Uh, through stupidity. Right, right, right. Okay, good, 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 good. Yep. Oh, hey, ho, ha, nice. And Bam said the lady. Please 